What is going on, Lego Maniacs? It's Tyler Lego Guy here. And yeah, we're here today with another episode of Old School Wednesdays. And we're actually doing the very first Batman uh, Batmobile. So actually very excited about it, at least for minifig scale. And that is the 2006, the Batmobile Two Faces Escape that set 7781, had three minifigs, 386 pieces, and retailed for only $29.99 US. Honestly, I love this set, and to this day, it's one of the best Batmobiles, in my opinions, an opinion out there. Um, what's new is not always best, and we're definitely gonna see that with this set. It's 13 years old as of filming this, and uh, it still looks great to today's standards, I have to say. I just really, really like it. Um, but yeah, enough talk. Let's get right into it. So to begin, let's take a look at Two-Face's bank truck. So what I really liked about this set is it says GC Bank, which stands for Gotham City Bank. Very cool little sticker. Unfortunately, it is a sticker. But let's give you a 360 view of this before getting into some of the features. And since it is Two-Face, it does make sense that it is in those two colors. So to begin, we'll just uh, unfold this. And I'll show you guys. It has these little, basically, I don't know if they're supposed to be guns or whatnot, but they come in from side to side, which is kind of cool, they fold out. And then how you get the minifig in here, okay, this kind of actually comes all apart when you pull this thing off. So I don't really like that feature, but that's how you get the minifig out, the uh, driver. So pretty cool. Um, the other thing that we'll, I'll show you guys is just kind of what it looks like in here. So this comes up and I'll show you how that feature kind of works. That's just how it kind of looks inside of there. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to attempt to hit this with the Batmobile. <laughs> that actually worked really good. So you guys can kind of see, he shoots his missile and it knocks Two-Face out. Very cool, now let's take a look at some of the small little features of this set. So we won't center too long in this just because I personally didn't find these little builds very interesting. Um, but it is still a nice little build, nice little lamp. Uh, here's a little roadblock, stop sign, nothing too crazy. And then along with this, here's another roadblock device. Has the chain, the little spikes. So cool little features. Uh, now let's get into my favorite thing of the set, which is the Batmobile. So here's the Batmobile in all its glory. So I'll give you guys a 360 view of this set. Beautiful, such a sleek set. What's funny is I got this set as a gift and I wasn't actually too thrilled. And then as I built the uh, Batmobile more and more, I'm like, you know what, this is a really, really good set. So we'll just get into some of the features. As you guys can see, that does shoot as I kind of destroyed that little uh, uh, little uh, roadblock thing. But anyways, very nice looking. As you can see, there's stickered lights, which I don't like, but you know what? This set's still so good. I don't mind at all. Then you have the flames on the back. Great looking, really, really do like that. And then you just open this up, and that's how you access Batman. So very, very cool, cool little feature. I love this cockpit to this set. And in the back area, they actually have an area to put all those little tools. So I'll show you guys. There's handcuffs there, um, some uh, bat wings. You know, his little thing that he throws at people when he wants to basically get them. So very, very nice looking set. Um, it's just a really sturdy design too. Uh, I can't, honestly, this set's 10 out of 10. They did a fantastic job with this Batmobile. Love the little bat wings in the back here. Just great, great looking. Um, a lot of you guys might be used to the tumbler type design. This is definitely not that, but for the Batmobile, which is what the Batmobile is supposed to look like, or, or bat, you know, the Batmobile is supposed to exist, they've done a perfect job capturing uh, that look of the Batmobile. Again, this is not the tumbler, this is the Batmobile, which is supposed to be smaller and look like this. So great job. Now, as always, let's take a look at we the We have mini three minifigs that are included in this lot. Um, so on the far right, we have obviously Two-Face, very nice looking minifig. As you guys can see, he has a black suit on one side and he has a white suit on the other side. So great looking. I love how his hair piece is even half and half. That's just honestly awesome. They did such a good job on him. And then also he has purple on one side and then normal face on the other. So very, very nice looking minifig. Uh, do really like him. In the middle, 
it continues with the theme. He's half white, half black. Obviously a lot less um, elaborate than Two-Face, but still very cool looking minifig. And I do believe that these are the first sets that came with automatic real looking weapons. So as you can see, he has a machine gun. He has a semi-automatic weapon. And then the other thing I really liked about Two-Face is he has a little coin here. So that's just honestly awesome. I mean, if you guys know anything about Batman, he flips a coin for every decision that he basically makes. So that's kind of incorporating that, which is so cool. I love it when they do little things like that. And then on the far left, obviously we have Batman, very cool looking minifig. He's all in dark in this uh, version of him. Uh, beautiful looking torso print. There is no back torso print for him. Um, the other two minifigs do have back torso printing, although it is very simple. Uh, and then I'll just quickly show you guys Batman's face. It's nothing too crazy, it's just a normal Bruce Wayne face with white on the top, so he kind of gives the idea of white eyes, which is pretty cool. And then he also has a very unique little cape. Um, but yeah, these are the minifigs. I think they stand up to the day's standards almost, even though they are a little bit simpler, obviously. But for 2006, wow, they did a really good job at this lot. But now, as always, let's get into the end of the review. Well guys, that was my review. I uh, do hope you enjoyed it. Um, honestly, I have to say this set was fantastic. I mean, obviously my main favorite thing about this set is the Batmobile, Batman, and Two-Face. Um, Two-Face's truck's okay, and the little thing gimmick where, you know, it's like a roadblock is okay. But really, the meat of this set where it's really good is the Batmobile and the minifigs. Uh, honestly, think it's really, really cool. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this set or do you not? Uh, do you possibly own it? Is there anything you could maybe see that LEGO could have improved on since this set is 13 years old? Um, but all in all, great set. Love the features, love those missiles, love the flames in the back of the Batmobile. I just, I can't say enough good things about this set. It almost is honestly a perfect set. Just absolutely love it. Um, but that's all I got for you today. But if you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. And ring that bell so you're notified for any new old sets that I review here on this channel. But that's all I got for you today. But take care. I'll catch you on the next one.